When thinking about the future of technology, it's hard to get far without thinking about the emergence of humanoid robots. From sci-fi to kids TV, it's apparent that the humanoid robot is an inevitable step in our long march of innovation and the evolution of technology. Long thought to be a science fiction dream, we now stand at the precipice of their inception, at the beginning of a revolution that is not just in the science and technology field, but in our lives as a whole. Welcome to my channel, TFC Tech, where we discuss profound and thought-provoking topics surrounding science and technology. Today, we will explore the implications, which are vast, of the Tesla bot and how it specifically will change the world. So if you're as excited about this as I am, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like to help grow this channel with me. Before we dive into it, I want us to ask a few questions. What does it take to make a practical humanoid robot? How will our lives change when they become a functional reality? And what will it mean for ethics and the overall economy? These questions are about to get answered, so let's get right into it. Robots have been around for a long time now, widely used as arms and hands in the world of manufacturing, surgery, and many other industries. In fact, I bet 99% of you can't go throughout your day without interacting with at least some form of robot. Your Roomba, even your car, are primary examples of the daily use of robotics. But before we get into the Tesla bot, Let's go over the history of humanoid robots. Surprisingly enough, their story begins in the ancient world. In 3000 BC, the Egyptians used mechanical dolls to strike bells to announce the time after their water clocks had fallen to certain levels. The Greeks had their mythologies of automatons, animated statues crafted by the divine smith Hephaestus, which were sometimes referred to as indistinguishable from men. Then, in 1565, Juanello Turiano, mechanician to Emperor Charles V, crafted a marvelous mechanical monk who would walk in a square, striking his chest with his right hand and raising a cross and a rosary with his left. After 400 years, the monk survives and still works to this day, kept in good working order by the Smithsonian Institution. While extremely simple and rudimentary, these inventions illustrate the innate desire of humans to create and progress ever towards the construction of autonomous humanoid robots. So now that we understand where our desire to create humanoid robots started, let's explore the most promising prospect in the development of our metal creations, and what its emergence means for both our world and our daily lives. Introduced last year at Tesla's AI Day, the Tesla bot was conceptualized to be a replacement for monotonous human tasks, and designed to be roughly 5 foot 8 inches tall, and be able to lift up to 45 pounds. It will rely on the bones of artificial general intelligence being used right now in Tesla's full self-driving beta, and be able to navigate the bipedal world we have built for humans. While the Tesla bot is still in the conceptual phase, we should be getting a prototype unveiling sometime later this year. Elon recently did an essay with China Cyberspace which has huge implications for the world and technology's impact on its future. While the entire essay is extremely interesting, I want to bring two specific areas to your attention, which focus on the Tesla bot. To start, let me read you the introduction to the essay. Elon says, As technology accelerates, it may one day surpass human understanding and control. Some are optimistic and some are pessimistic, but I believe that as long as we are not complacent and always maintain a sense of urgency, the future of humanity will be bright, driven by the power of technology. It is like a self-fulfilling prophecy, if humans want to make the future good, they should take action to make the future good. I wanted to read you that to reassure you that more than likely, the creation of humanoid robots will not lead us to a Terminator doomsday apocalypse, like typical sci-fi media suggests. There's a very high possibility that in the right hands, humanoid robots will instead lead us to a bountiful future, as Elon suggests later in this essay. But let's get back to the practical stuff. Elon goes on to say, Today's cars are increasingly like smart, web-connected robots on wheels. In fact, in addition to cars, humanoid robots are also becoming a reality, with Tesla unveiling a general-purpose humanoid robot in 2021. The Tesla bot is close to the height and weight of an adult, can carry or pick up heavy objects, walk fast in small steps, and the screen on its face is an interactive interface for communication with people. You may wonder why we designed this robot with legs, because human society is based on the interaction of a bipedal humanoid with two arms and ten fingers. So if we want a robot to adapt to its environment and be able to do what humans do, it has to be roughly the same size, shape, and have the same capabilities as a human. 
So as Elon says here, it's extremely important that the frame of the Tesla bot is the same as the human structure, because literally all of our infrastructure, aside from roads for cars, is designed for the human frame. Robots do great when specialized to certain tasks such as the common robot arm or Roomba, but if we want them to be a general purpose solution to daily tasks, they need to be designed for such. So you may be asking yourself why I have a robot that is not even out of the conceptual phase as the top prospect for humanoid robots. That is because of Tesla's full self-driving. Tesla has already laid the groundwork for artificial general intelligence with their FSD, meaning they already have programs in place for the robots to navigate the human world autonomously. All they have to do now is build the frame. What few people understand and what the chart above shows is that every Tesla on the road is a machine learning tool, meaning every car is constantly receiving information and sending it back to Tesla's neural nets. Tesla is a lot farther ahead in the world of AI than most people think, and I personally believe it will be easier than assumed for them to transfer this learning engine to their humanoid robots. There are two more paragraphs from Elon that I want to read you which outline both the vision and the timeline for the Tesla bot. In this, Elon talks about what he calls an age of abundance. I want you to pay attention to this and try to decipher what exactly he's referring to here. Tesla bots are initially positioned to replace people in repetitive, boring, and dangerous tasks, but the vision is for them to serve millions of households such as cooking, mowing lawns, and caring for the elderly. Achieving this goal requires that robots evolve to be smart enough and for us to have the ability to mass produce robots. Our four-wheeled robots, cars, have changed the way people travel and even live. One day when we solve the problem of self-driving cars, we will be able to extend artificial intelligence technology to humanoid robots, which will have a much broader application than cars. As you can see here, he's talking about simply rolling over what they're already close to solving into a robot frame. It will happen much faster than we think, but let's continue. We plan to launch the first prototype of a humanoid robot this year and focus on improving the intelligence of that robot and solving the problem of large-scale production. Thereafter, humanoid robots' usefulness will increase yearly as production scales up and costs fall. In the future, a home robot may be cheaper than a car. Perhaps less than a decade, people will be able to buy a robot for their parents as a birthday gift. Tesla is planning for the bot to be huge, even bigger than their automotive sector. The addressable market for humanoid robots will undoubtedly be a large portion of manufacturing and general labor jobs. Right now, 10.3% of the entire workforce is some sort of manual labor job, meaning the implications of a humanoid robot that is just as capable as a human are massive. So what will this mean for the world when this comes to fruition? Well, Elon has an answer. It is foreseeable that with the power of robots, we will create an era of extreme abundance of goods and services, where everyone can live a life of abundance. Perhaps the only scarcity that will exist in the future is for us to create ourselves as humans. This era of abundance, as he calls it, means that we may come to a time where no manual labor will be needed to be done by humans. It will all be done by robots. This isn't a new thought. It's been the hyperbole to the problem of robot labor for a long time. I personally believe that this time, if it ever comes, is a very long way away, and I hope that the novelty of hard work doesn't get lost on our future selves. But that's going to pretty much do it for the video today guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Will we ever reach this age of abundance as he calls it? Do you think another company will beat Tesla in the race to humanoid robots? Let's see what you guys think and I'll catch you in the next one.